I have hit the record button. Have you hit your record button? Uh, I have now just hit my... I, I am recording. Recording! Hooray! We are recording. We are recording. Um, I think it should work this, this week where the, the screens are side by side. Uh, if, if it, if it's not, we'll find out. Then get ready for the video to start jockeying back and forth. Strike in motherfuckers. Here we go. Um, all right, Brandon Chalmers, uh, and, and everybody listening and watching, uh, welcome to the fucking do it cast part of the hard knock media podcasting network that's n-o-c as in nerds of color i hit it without saying hard knock life (laughs) uh i don't know what you're talking about because uh hove and uh i'm good with this life hove Hove. um i'm i'm really good with this life so this hard knock life um yeah so uh check us out um if if I had if I have recorded the video correctly, you will see the banner up the entire time we are recording. So it'll have the hardmedia.com. Ah. So you can visit it whenever you want to. If I was a very clever person, I would put clickable link. Oh, I don't think I can. Wait, no, I think I can. I think this channel is um set up so that you could set out external ah, fuck that shit fuck um, it whatever that's fine like use a goddamn keyboard you're an adult you'll be fine yeah so hardknockmedia.com ask for it by name um there are a lot of great podcasts on the network and then you find us so <laughs> there's all sorts of really really choice content yeah and then your boys then then there's us then so professional then your boys Recording out of our our uh, our living room and, sp- and basements and stuff. It's great. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because I'm back in the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's good, right? No. You know what? Actually, it it, it okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do we, is there any other things to get to? Because like we we usually get into the, like what are you geeking out about? Oh, right. Well, yeah, and, yeah. And I feel like. This might be what I'm geeking out about, but I'm going to start breaking down some walls here if I'm going to do it. Because right, I well, think I should be open about that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait hold on. Yep. Are yep. you going to break yep. down the walls? No, I'm not going to Jericho. No, I mean, I will. Yeah. <laughs> break the ball down. <laughs> something, 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 something. Jericho can't remember the own lyrics to his own song. Uh, um, all right. For those about to rock, Brandon Chalmers, what are you geeking upon so I am finally back in my office. And for those of you in the know about that, you're like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Good for you. For those of you who don't know, so I think I've covered this on here before, and I think kind of mums the word about it publicly and, and what have you, because I'm not trying to make any waves. But like everything is all done now. Paperwork's all finished, yada, yada, yada. So, um, right. So a few weeks ago, I officially got divorced, um, and during my time of my separation, the agreement that my ex-wife and I had was that I would move into my office in my basement, um, and really feeling like the teenager that I am, and you know, basically was like doing all of my regular, like, I have like a half bath down here in the basement, so it was like, showering was really awkward, and I basically would kind of like make food and then come back down to my hole. And like, I slept on a chaise lounge in my office. Like it was, it was not a good time. And I did this for, I don't know, almost three months. Um, Mm -hmm. and it was really, it wore on me and it depressed the shit out of me. Like it it got very, very bad. And I was very lucky to have a lot of very kind friends who got me out of the house and would not leave me alone. Thank goodness. And poked at me and sat on the phone with me a lot of nights um, but one friend in particular did not leave me be, and she sat on the phone with me till God knows what time every night and was incredibly kind, and I am forever in her debt. Um, 
And that's kind of been a very weird thing for me. So as I've been doing like house projects and if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I'm like, I'm doing leaves, I'm doing sidewalks and I'm, you know, fixing walls and doing all sorts of stuff. And I basically have been ignoring my office. Like the second my, my ex-wife moved out, it was like, cool. And I packed my clothes back up and I moved upstairs and I closed the door and I just kind of left it here like a sadness time capsule. Um, <laughs> and I decided that I was going to tackle it and came back downstairs and put some music on, kind of aired everything out and moved some furniture around and got my office back to being my space. So this is the first time, uh, honestly, this, other than actually cleaning it, this is the first time that I've spent any time down here. Oh, nice. Um, it's, it's weird. And like, I look over at the chaise lounge and I'm like, oh, that's a little bit of sadness over there. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, like it's, it's weird. You want to burn it? We could burn it. No, God, no. I paid <laughs> way too fucking much for that. Jesus. No, 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 no. I, it we, just, we can reupholster it. <laughs> eh, I'm all right. Like it's not, it's not the furniture's fault that I went through some shit, but yeah, that's true. Um, what I'm, what I'm geeking out about right now is getting over my own shit and finally feeling like I'm starting to kind of, put together whatever my life is now. Um, and it's been weird. Like there's a lot of it that I'm still not like very forward about. And I'm sure there are a lot of friends who, there are a lot of people who maybe are seeing this and are realizing it for the first time going, holy shit, dude, you didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. um, and for that, I, I equally am like, yeah, I'm sorry. And at the same time, it's like, eh, eh. Um, so that's been a real kind of rough thing of trying to, get comfortable with the idea that I don't owe anyone else an apology for not talking about what I kind of went through. That's, nope. that's been its own thing. No, you're trying to no, learn. you fucking don't. No. Um, and that's, that's been something that I've been trying to learn as well is just not being afraid to say no to things, even to, to my own guilt. Um, yeah. and that's been kind of an uphill thing. So today is the first day that I'm back in my office, my space, my, my, I guess it's weird because like now that I have the entire house to myself, it's not necessarily I don't, like I don't need a man cave. It seems kind of silly. like a man cave thing in the first place. Seems kind of fucking your silly. entire house is your man cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything the light touches is my home. Like whatever. That's <laughs> full fucking Mufasa. Everything the light touches is my cave, motherfucker. Is my home. <laughs> yeah. I, the only thing that I did learn the hard way. Um, nobody needs a king size bed. Mm. And I learned this, like the real estate's nice to be able to like really spread out and roll around. Like genuinely, I can do like four full like gator rotations on my bed and not fall off, which is nice because your boy ain't the smallest. And the fact that he can get that kind of rotation is good. <laughs> to find fucking like cool bed sheets has been a thing. Because <laughs> like, okay, so full, full stop. I... In, in the previous regime, as, as, I, as I will put this, mm. we were not necessarily encouraged to have dumb, fun things that you didn't really need. So the idea of like... <laughs> the previous regime. The previous regime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the previous administration, um, we, we weren't encouraged to necessarily have the kind of fun like getting dumb like dinosaur bed sheets. And because, you know, I'm yeah. a fucking adult yeah. who very clearly... You know, I, I'm I'm looking to make sure that I further my future relationship. So what I need, I fucking need, is some <laughs> sweet ass dinosaur sheets. I agree. Nothing, nothing says keeper like some goddamn dino DNA. So wink, nod, and <laughs> so this is what you need for your bed. You can't find fuck like if anybody has a lead on king size bed sheets that are fucking cool. The only ones that I've been able to get to get are some motherfucking galaxy spread uh, sheets. Hmm. Like it's a goddamn nebula up there on the bed. Like fucking, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. Like yes. sleeping in space. space in space. space. Yeah, yeah. Ironically, all the room I have on that bed in a galaxy, I feel like I'm floating in space. Space. So <laughs> yeah. So it, it's it's nice in that sense, but it's it's been fucking weird. And I'm like, so how long do I have to save up before I can sell this big fuck bed? And then 
<laughs> well, what you do is you get like you you get twin sets and you put one twin set on one side of the the bed and the other twin set on the other side of the bed. So like you can sleep in, you know, you can have like a like a like a like a Star Wars theme on one side and then a dragon theme on the other side. Ja- and then like Jamie. you fall asleep in Star Wars and you wake up in Jurassic Park and it's like ja- you've Jamie, been Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, I, at the risk of sounding condescending, you do understand how fitted sheets work, right? <laughs> oh, I no, but like the top sheet. Oh yeah, well, whatever. Fuck the top sheet. That's getting <laughs> covered up on my sweet ass space blanket that I found. Oh, I found nice. a goddamn cover with some goddamn stitchy rocket ships on them. Nice. Hell yeah, Target. Nice, Hell yeah. Nice. Now, nah, man, I'm talking about the fitted sheet, mm. flat sheet pillowcase set. Mm. Gotta have that together. Right now, got a whole goddamn space thing going on. Got the galaxy on the sheets. Managed to find myself a sweet and tasteful gray comforter with dark gray stitching that has rocket ships <laughs> with like little squiggly lines. Yeah. yeah. So like, I keeping it slightly classy but slightly childish. <laughs> like, so I've got a whole theme going on, but like, I, I don't need. Yeah. I can't believe that Target wouldn't have some of that shit. They they don't make that. They make them in queen, mm. but not in king. Yeah. See, and this is the problem: is you bought, like what I've realized is rich people apparently don't have cool sheets, or they get them custom made. Like there has mm. to be somewhere out there. Like somebody needs to point me toward an Etsy store or something where I can get some fucking dinosaur sheets for a king size bed. That's all I'm saying. I think um, these aren't sheets, but. Uh, one of the one of the many sites that Lar uh, has his artwork up on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell um cloth. Right. So they sell fabric. We they sell fabric. So uh, there might be people that we know who could hook you and, up and with I, like some sewn sewing action. See, and this has been the the kind of trade off of everything is because we are not in the the previous administration. <laughs> the, the office of budget and, and finance has changed a little bit so ah. we're we're trying to readjust here just a just a scotch so <laughs> uh, the the popping for rad sheets uh and be able to throw money at my at my my cohorts for like cool projects like that has been it's been curtailed back a little bit <laughs> just, just, just scotch that, that's interesting because I was under the impression that during the previous administration, there was less money for you to spend because. No, 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 no. It's, it's that I, my spending money, which was uh, the, the previous administration's contribution of, 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 uh, <laughs> se- yeah, of, of semi-annual taxes. Like, yeah, you know, like, I see, I see, now, I like see. as a small business owner, you have to contribute quarterly and have sure, to follow. Yeah. Sure, sa- same sure. thing. Yeah. So, okay. So, okay. So yeah, there, there was a contribution. There was the contribution okay, and okay, things okay. like, you know, cameras and whatnot were how I was able to compensate for my displeasure for in sadness. the previous administration uh, by retail therapy. Um, <laughs> the previous administration. I love yeah, the previous administration. That's the, way, yeah. that's the way it has to be phrased from now on. That's how, that's how it has to be phrased, yes. Yeah, so because, <laughs> because your boy – because your boy was depressed as fuck mm. and he was trying to figure out what he was going to end up doing before he finally made a decision to, to vote the other way. Remember <laughs> kids, your vote counts, um, especially in a democracy of one um, that, <laughs> that he did dumb things like buy cameras and buy long boards and all sorts. Like that's where this is. I, yeah. You, your boy doesn't bring it in the way you'd think. Like, I, it, it don't, I, it don't happen that way. I have an idea and I don't know yeah. what, I don't know what beds cost, but it, would it be possible to to sell the king size, get the queen, and still have money left over for cool? cool no, no, no. Okay. I no. When you sell a used bed, they like if I got half of what I paid, mm-hmm. I'd be shocked. Okay. Um. Really, you just need to get rid of the box screen because you could get a queen sized frame and then you could Vanna White your mattress, like, cut it down to like queen size. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never. Okay, so this is how old I am. Vanna White 
used to uh, do these commercials where she would have goggles on and a chainsaw and oh, cut a mattress in half. That's to, like, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to show like how amazing what's inside. Ma- yeah, what's inside and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show them sweet ass nineteen eighties pocket coils. Yeah, because for some reason, putting a spring inside of a sleeve was a game changer. Well, I get this. Because you see, Jamie, it keeps the springs from shifting and making squeaking noises. Sure. And if if you're trying to get down, and Vanna is trying to get down, that sort of thing matters. And she likes to quality test, right? Yeah. And how do? You, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's Canadian. And how do Canadians quality test? Chainsaw with a fucking chainsaw, right? Chainsaw. That's just good science. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> don't quality check any of this. Yeah. It's so on I, the internet. I'm sure it's accurate. So when, um, when I, uh, when I voted the other way in a previous situation, I don't, I don't know how, (laughs) when I got divorced, um, (laughs) I slept on the floor. Um, no, uh, I slept on the floor. Um, and then I upgraded to like a futon. Okay. uh, Like one of those things, but like I slept on the floor for like a good year. And yeah, no. Back and never felt better. Um, no. But no, yes, no, no, no. I I do not recommend that for 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 people over the age of uh, three. <laughs> no, Jamie. Please understand the way I I was viewing a lot of things is um, I'm not going to leave a miserable situation to be more miserable. Like yeah. that that's not happening. So it was a. Uh, it was a right Scotch garden, a, uh, a new mattress cover, and we were <laughs> off to the races. Like, nice. I'm not, no, I'm not doing any of that. No, Could no. you? I, I, sp- I spent a year sleeping on my own couch because I was miserable. And that's when the administration was coming <laughs> along on all cylinders. Oh, my so, God. Oof. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm good with, Woof. believe it or not. Yeah. The chaise lounge was just only marginally worse. <laughs> yeah. So, how about going the other way? You know those Yogi Bo uh, beanbag things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you were super sad sack and you put one of those Yogi Bo things on the other side of the king side? So, king side. So like if you're feeling stupid lazy one day, instead of going downstairs and watching television and sitting on something, you kind of lay, lay on your side on your big See, oversized I, you know, beanbag. See, I was thinking about something like that. Yeah, yeah, we're like I take the I take the box spring off, like just get it out, put the bed right on the floor, and yeah. then get some of those like old school sofa arm pillows or whatever it is, yeah. and fly at the corners, yeah, and then basically turn it into like a feng shui kind of like hangout zone, and then this way everything's just kind of very chill, like it's. <laughs> That'd be fun. That sounds great. It might work. Right. Because genuinely, like, I'm not sure my back would tell the difference because the box spring that I have is the one from the the sleep number bed that we had Mm. that was just basically a big plastic floor. Yeah. So So you might as well stick it on the floor. Lower. Yeah. I'm not really sure what I gained there. I mean, like, I probably shouldn't be an adult in my 30s with my bed on the floor. That feels like a downgrade. But then again, I've got galaxy sheets. So it's kind of a fucking lateral move at this point. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Why not? Like, um, <laughs> like you know, in, uh, you know, in Mad Men, the, uh, the, the Don Draper's last apartment where like you walk in and it has like a, like a, like a square yeah, area like a where you down. walked yeah. like a step down. Yeah. So you could, you could treat it sort of like that where the bed is the step down and then you like surround it with like all sorts of comfy stuff. And then, you know, you put your PS4 in there and you start playing. See, video that, that's what I need to do. Cause we've already got the TV mounted on the wall. Cause of course I'm extra like that. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah. I, I've got a, I did downgrade the TV size. So I've only got a 42 in the bedroom. So <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking lousy with screens. Like, you understand? Like, it's it's fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm a goddamn junkie. Like, you know this. <laughs> right now on my desk, okay? I'm I'm looking at you on my 15-inch MacBook. Yeah, yeah. Next to me, my monitor is a 32-inch television rotated on end. So this way I can scroll through things. Oh my on god. The other side of me over here is a 50. <laughs> Upstairs is a 70. <laughs> And then the bedrooms are 42. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. It's a that's, lot. That's a lot. 
Like I, right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's a lot. Like That's a lot. And don't get me wrong. Like I've got like, I don't know. I've got another like old school laptop hanging out here. I think this is like a seventeen or some shit <laughs> like that. That's really funny. Um, which 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 monitor is your uh, PS4 hooked up to? Uh, the 70 in the living room because the Be- second the previous administration left, I moved all my video games upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> because um, so I. When when Adam, um, friend friend of the pod, uh, and and referee extraordinaire Adam, um, uh, yes, when he was when he was still playing console uh, for Destiny, like there was one one night we were playing together, and he was at um, his parents' house or something like that, and it was hooked into like this ginormous screen, and the problem was since he was used to to playing on a on a smaller screen he had to like physically turn his head to see the yeah. entire thing. And it was, yeah, yeah. it was real hard for him to aim and like get the snipes off and like do stuff. So he was, he was playing, he wasn't, it took him a while to adjust, but it was just like, what nah, man, that, that's why, that's why you gotta, you gotta center that couch. You gotta get that couch far enough away. <laughs> like your mom, your mom wasn't just yelling at you for you ruining your eyesight. She's trying to get the fucking flow of the room together. You can't be playing fucking Mario and having it like, I get it. You only got to focus on a spot this big world's this fucking big. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying like she, mom's new golden eye was coming at some point. Like she had that foresight. She's got that lion O sight beyond sight. Where she knows like at some point along the way, you're going to be golden gunning your way through a fucking open area. Odd job's going to come rolling through. You're going to be like, fuck, how'd somebody kill me with a hat? That shit is OP as hell. And everyone who's an old is like, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh, um, <laughs> um, But yeah, like, th- you got to have that foresight there yeah. to make sure that you're good. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, like, the, the way the screen is set up now is it, it kind of hits, like, right at the edge of my perif. Uh-huh. And then I, I've, because I'm extra bougie, uh, I, I was able to acquire some, some nice, like, taxes were decent in the previous administration <laughs> in the sense that allocating of funds was kind of, like, up, up to you, boy. So we, we do have some, some, like, Hugh Phillips lighting systems going on. Ooh. And I've got, right, and I've got, like, um, the, what do they call it? The bias lighting behind the television? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I've got the bias lighting there, and then I can actually set the lights on the sides and up above to a much lower thing. And I can actually like change the colors of them so I can soften everything around me and be able to just focus on the screen. And that's super good. That's awesome. So like, if I genuinely don't want to give a fuck about my neighbors, I can set the lights just right, crank the sub, let the sound bar fucking eat. And if destiny was a thing worth playing anymore, everyone would be fucking tired of hearing the sound of the Mida just <laughs> over and over. Just clacking, 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 clacking. Yeah, just non fucking stop. <laughs> clack, clack, just non-stop. Man, I wish I wish it was still fun. Parts of it are fun. <laughs> sure, if you say so. I I don't know. Like <laughs> Oh, did you see the Overwatch uh, the Overwatch 2 trailer or something like yes, that? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. I and think- I, I I want that game to be so much more than just a big fucking like Call of Duty style schmoz. I I think I think it's gonna be PVE. I think I I read somewhere like the rumors is it's gonna be more PVE focused. Good. Hopefully it fucking is. It needs to be. Cause it was the only time I ever played. Yeah. I I s I couldn't get into it, but I mean I'm not good at shooters anyway. Like the only reason I played Destiny is because Matt but otherwise I wouldn't be into PVP at all. So like the entire point of Overwatch is PVP and it's just like, the story is so good. Why am I shooting people who are supposedly on my team? Right. That's the thing I don't understand. Right. I just, I don't know. Whole thing feels like wrestling to me. Like the storyline could be so good if they just put a little fucking effort into it, but (laughs) let's do a match again. Yes, I know. Reaper versus seventy six. Ah, oh, fucking again. Thank yeah, you, Cena we, Orton. Yeah. Thank you. Like I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Reaper, one hundred percent. Reaper. Reaper is the Randy Orton of video games. Hundred fucking percent. <laughs> great theme song. Great look. Boring as fuck. Enjoyed specifically by douchebags. 
<laughs> That's true. Anyone, anyone with like Reaper XXXX, like Killer yeah. 69 in their yeah. name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> MAGA yeah. Reaper XX69. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> XX MAGA Reaper XX6969. Like, it just... <laughs> The amount of times I fucking hunted that guy down. <laughs> 69 Benghazi Reapers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Benghazi Reaper 46 or some shit like that. Yeah, like. Oh my God, Benghazi Reaper. Yeah, I swear to God, I remember like f- actively hunting a dude for an entire game where he was like, where I, I swear his, his uh, username was like 2x. Uh, World War Champ 69 or something like that. Oh, it was like, geez. fuck you. God. God. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, God. Because you know he thinks he's so fucking clever, too. <laughs> Saw this on a t shirt. Got the matching t shirt for this shit. That's right. Sun's out, guns out. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's right. Yeah. 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 I, you know, like, and you're chasing him down and he's muttering shit. Like, thank God they turned the fucking mass speech off. Yeah. On, oh, on yeah. The PlayStation. Because the last thing I need to hear is this dude full fucking uh, Reaper guns blazing, just going, these colors don't run and neither do I, bro. These colors don't run. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm, I'm amazed that Overwatch hasn't given him like a like a super patriotic red, right, red, white, and blue skin or something like that. I wish they would, but they're too busy turning fucking 76 into Super Dad, and I love it. I fucking <laughs> love it. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm here for that goddamn life. I I want them to do so much more with Overwatch. Like I love everything about it. Like the comics are great, the art design is great, the skins are great. And then I can't get into the place. I can't I can't get into it. Like playing it is just and I've tried sure. watching people and I'm like, what am I watching? I my my hope is that the I haven't actually played it on Switch. My hope is that I What's can pick Switch? it up. Yeah, the original Overwatch is on Switch. So I'm hoping the second one will be a release on Switch. And I might just pick it up on there. That could be just fun. Just to see, right, just to see, one, how many friends I know who would actually do the portable version of it. That would be cool And I feel like, right, yeah, like I feel like if I could just take that with me and be able to play PvE when I'm not on Wi-Fi. Yeah. Would be a hell of a lot of fun. And if they had the option of like, multiplayer split screen golden eye style where like you get one switch in a room you've got another friend with a switch you guys can get all the joy cons on one tv oh nice and, yeah right yeah you see what i mean like yeah. if that's an option fuck yeah i'm i might get myself a switch after i finish this goddamn book like I, i'm about that that could be great you know if they if they released a a, a 2d metroid Instant purchase for me. Instant purchase. Because what do you mean? Like a like a new one? Like a new 2D Metroid or even an uh, old okay. one. Or even a Metroid that has all the, the 2D games all in one. Cause like I mean they, they do have the store where you can buy the old games. So to my understanding, like you can just pick up the old ones. Nah man, I want I want like a like upgraded graphics on it. Like so there's oh, okay. I got you. You you want like the Mega Man X series yes. of this? Okay. Yes, exactly. Like or or the um the the latest Mega Man. I think it was like Mega Man Eleven that came out that had like the two and a half D kind of stuff. Okay. Where it where it looked like the backgrounds were three D, but also still drawn. So sort of I don't know, but like real stylized kind of thing. Yeah. I I if they if Nintendo dropped like uh, a Metroid like that, like an updated graphics two D side scroller. Instant purchase because Metroid was my shit. Metroid right was my favorite, my favorite fucking thing. Um, have you set up like a like a driving game? Like, um, not yet. No, like I've got so Mario. Mario was outstanding. Um, mm-hmm. but like I I tried to get into Gran Turismo. That didn't really grab me enough. It's not bad. It just like it didn't drag me in. Mm-hmm. Fours is good and i i genuinely like when i moved in here it was like christmas a few years ago and I was like fuck it i want to set up my office i want to have the cool experience i want to be able to relax like the second i get everything moved in 
I am going to decompress in my space and I'm going to play some goddamn video games. So I went and I bought an Xbox one that had four, that had like Forza horizon three or four, whatever it is. And it had like the, the full pack of like hot wheels shit. So like you could drive upside down and jump through a T-Rex's mouth and all sorts of dumb shit. That's amazing. No, (laughs) And don't get me wrong, like, and full credit to the Microsoft team. Forza is an outstanding racing game. Totally outstanding. It's the only game I own for Xbox. Really? It's the only one. Not even I a never Halo? Went ba- I never went back and bought another game. I Not played even that a Xbox Halo? so little oh. that I actually lent it to a friend of mine to use as a Blu-ray player. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have it right now. You didn't even get a Halo game? Why would I? I don't know. With Destiny out there, why would I buy a shitty old sequel of everything? I could go buy another Gears of War because I want to fucking saw guys in half as Dave Batista, I guess. I don't that's fucking true. know. But, but like, why? Yeah. And true. who am I going to play with? Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, I know um, like one person. <laughs> MAGA 619. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, <laughs> I... <laughs> Like I, I, the one person I know who had or who did play uh, Xbox is uh, is our webcomic friend Garth, Garth oh, yeah. Graham. Yeah. And like, sure, okay. I mean, like, if Garth wants to hit me up and be like, "Hey, you should totally buy Gears of War and we can go play a few nights," like, I'm I'm cool with that. But yeah, I, I don't know if I want to bother spending the money on that. <sighs> yeah. Like the Switch has been the most recent thing of like. I even stopped. I haven't played uh, Borderlands in, in a few weeks. Oh, just right. I haven't, right. Like, I haven't been wanting to, like, sit down and play video games. Like, the Switch is so easy to be able to just kind of pick up and put down. Mm-hmm. Like, Goose Game has been just kind of dominating any free time that I have. That looks hysterical, man. It's a fucking blast. Wah, it's a blast. <laughs> Jamie, he puts his little beak in a bottle, and then it mutes his, be- his like, his honk. <laughs> yes! It's... <laughs> The amount of fucking giggling I have done to like by myself in my own house, finding thing. There's a well. He honks into the well. There's an echo in the well. Like it just the amount of effort That's that they perfect. put into I, the the unsung hero of that game is the audio. Yeah, because the honks are great. It, the honks interact with everything, but the music picks up and slows down with your environment. That's so awesome. So like he starts to run, music starts to increase. Danger comes by, music starts to pick up like Jaws. Like it's it like the music's intuitive in that sense, and it's super good. That's so fun. Yeah, it Goose Game is great. That like sounds, that sounds that sounds great. Yeah, it, it, kids, <laughs> Christmas is coming. Okay, and if you know somebody who has a Switch who hasn't pulled a trigger on that, what I'd like you to do is go get them a gift card from the Nintendo eShop and right on there buy the goose game, you fucking monster. And I know it's your nephew and he's nine, <laughs> but it's important to teach him now. Get that goose game. That, that you're going to curse like a sailor. So you still write on there, get that fucking goose game. You monster. You can change out monster for little shit. I'll let that be. <laughs> get that goose game. You motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Go buy that motherfucking goose game. Go get that shit. Man, I want to get that Goose Game shit. It's so good. So good. I wonder if the Goose is going to show up in an iteration of Smash. I I heard that, and I fucking hope not. I, I hope not. Don't ruin this. Let it live <laughs> in its own little bubble. Yeah. I, like, I love that it's, that it's so contained, and it's so unique, and the art style is super clean, and just... Like, it it's perfect. Goose game, goose game. <laughs> Keep your fucking nerdy hands off of it. You, <laughs> <fucks. laughs> you goddamn Smash Brother dickholes. Like the fucking just yeah oh, yeah. Just go go freak out about Luigi's Mansion. Go enjoy all the other. There's a ton of great Nintendo content. You let the goose live in a bubble. He's perfect where he is. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't go shoving him into shit he doesn't belong in. He's so in. great. He's so right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause, cause what happens? I get to see Mario fucking pwn the goose. No, 
That, that's not what that. you want to see. No, I don't want that. No, no, he's so precious. He's precious. He's an asshole, and he's precious. He's a precious you keep asshole. him. You keep him where he is. It's the best. It is probably the best preparation of dealing with children that you possibly could, could come up with <laughs> because you <laughs> get well, you put yourself in a child's mindset. I have a to do list that is arbitrary, makes no fucking sense, but it has to be done. I'm a complete asshole who does not care about anyone else's well being, and I will absolutely use an act of subterfuge to distract you from doing the thing. Mm-hmm. It is exactly that. Like you could sub this goose out for a three year old. And the game would be exactly the same and nowhere near <laughs> as enjoyable because kids aren't nearly as cute as geese. No, that's true. And and like you'd have to work out like baby physics and all this stuff. You don't need down. any of that. No. Yeah, yeah. Stick with the goose. Stick with the goose. Stick with the goose. It's a simple premise. But yeah, that's all this game is, is a parent was trying to keep up with a kid. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, this would be a video game. And then somebody went, yeah, for the kid. And then he went, hang the fuck on. <laughs> so is is there like a a goal? Like, do you beat the goose game or is it just continuous? No, you, you beat the goose game. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but pay attention in the opening scene. That matters. <laughs> um and there are like there are things to complete. So I've I've played through the main part of the game once, uh-huh. and now I'm on to the secondary lists that are there. And then there's like speed rounds of you defeating a few levels, and then I don't know what's afterward. I refuse to look it up. I don't want to see spoilers. Okay. I, yeah, like all I know is it's a bit longer than I was expecting it to be. It's challenging. It's fun. It forces you to kind of think outside the box on problem solving a lot of things. It's good. So it's you beat really so you beat it and then there's second quest and then there's like side missions you can fill out and then there well, might yeah, be yeah, something yeah. after that or something. Yeah, like you like you beat the main part and then it's like there are two new to-do lists and they are much more complex using the same environments that you were just in. So you understand the nuances of them and the physics of them, but now you're like, well, how the fuck do I do this? So and it's super arbitrary. It's like get the farmer to wear his sun hat. That's it. You don't know how you're supposed to, like the sun hat hangs on a door. You don't have any other inkling of how you solve this problem. So you have to wait until you start to realize like, how the fuck am I going to get that hat? And then you're staring at him and you're just like sitting in a set of bushes, just fucking staring at this farmer as he walks by. And you're like, how the fuck am I going to get that hat? And then he bends hat. down to go, go pick up like a piece of fucking corn. You're like, son of a bitch. That's how I'm going to get it. And then you immediately like, steal his keys and then throw him down on the ground and he leans down and you fucking sprint up snatch that hat right off the top of his motherfucking head <laughs> chases your ass down yeah oh yeah and then you start to play the most dangerous game which is you get his hat he takes it out of your beak and now he knows you want that hat and oh, now the no. real game is on <laughs> so now he's paranoid so you gotta fucking sit and wait his ass out dun, dun, you gotta dun, let dun, him dun, just kind of chill dun, 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 dun. right yeah yeah, yeah. So you're spending like 10 minutes just watching him. You make a rustle, he turns around, he sees you, you know, reset the clock. Like full on fucking Pacific Rim. Oh my God. Idris Elba just shout reset. The second you honk at him, just clock resets. Kaiju shows up, that's it, game over. It's like, um, it's like Metal Gear Duck or Metal Gear Goose where you like your stealth mode. <laughs> then they see Jamie, you. There's, Jamie, there's a spot in the game where you use a box to get into an area. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good it's so good it, it's it's so good <laughs> like, is, is this secretly a kojima product is this like I, is there I like hope one, it is one back office in kojima's studio where like goose game and naked norman reedus <laughs> The, the idea of like because you know like there are metal gear fans who climbed inside the box and like you hit the honk when you're inside the box. Like, like he manages just to hop inside the box and then closes the lid somehow. I don't know how, right? Because you just see like wings and beak and then everything closes up. And then the guy walks up in the box and he gets like the question mark over his head. And he's like, huh? What? And then, <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden you honk from inside the box. The honk is muffled and he suddenly gets exclamation point above his head. And you're like, it's fucking on. Right, right. So then he picks up the box and he'll shake you out. <laughs> and then it looks really confused he chases you off and now you're playing the game of like okay so i gotta get back past this guy right so you wait for him to walk away climb back inside the box he picks you up 
and then just fucking waltzes you right inside. And you're like, <laughs> bitch, what now? And then walks you <laughs> right through the restaurant, right out the back door. And you're like, the fuck just happened? What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, like, that's awesome. It's so good. It's so good. By, by the way, speaking of exclamation points. Yes. Hazel refers to that as the yelling period. Well, I know what I'm replacing it with. That's exactly. it. <laughs> That's so, it. It's so good. Yelling you know period. what? We're done here. We're done here. I, I think we've peaked. Like, as a species, I think we've peaked. Your daughter's <laughs> done it. That's it. It's the yelling period. It's the yelling period. It's the yelling period. It's so good. I. <laughs> that is such a firm grasp of the English language. Like, it really is. <laughs> Just language in general. Like, what's that one? Period. What's that one? Yelling period. Why do you call it a yelling period? Well, that's what you put when you're yelling. Yelling, yeah. Duh. It's the perfect description. Yeah, no, that's an exclamation point. No, that's no. a yelling period. Believe me, I know. I use it when I yell. <laughs> it's so good. And like, it, yeah. Yelling period. Yelling period, it's perfect. <laughs> period, yelling period. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm just gonna. I want to just let her just describe everything. <laughs> yeah. So I, just, I can't come up with a good example, but there, there are things where it's like that's that's a neat way to say it. <laughs> I, yeah. Like I, I just I want to just sit things in front of her and let her describe them. Animal, vegetable, mineral, whatever it is, just put them right in front. Hazel, what's this? You know, we show her like a like a binturong, like a bear cat or something like that. And she's like, yeah. I don't know, forest platypus. You're like, fuck it. You bring out the label maker. It's just right on the forehead. <laughs> yep. Congratulations. That's what this is now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. We would just let her rename everything in her image. Yelling period. Ah. Yeah, that's perfect. What are we talking about today? Are we just um, talking about goose games, and yelling periods? Get, get goose game, yelling period. Um, I I took my dad to see the Terminator movie today. Okay. Ah, uh, I liked it. I don't know why people are dogging on this movie, and I have no idea why it hasn't made more money than it has. But like, uh, well, I mean, I can answer the second one. Why? Why? Uh, did Did you ever see what was it? Salvation. Yes, that was terrible. The, yeah. See, I'm convinced that they've done so many of these movies that no one's going to assume they're any good, so they'll just <laughs> wait for it to come on rental. Like, it might get a resurgence on DVD or Blu-ray so. or digital or whatever <clears throat> it is, but, like, I'm not paying to go see another fucking Terminator movie. Oh, man, this one is good. <laughs> Sure. Okay. This one is I, good. Like, I, I, look, can I can I take a guess that they have to save the world? Sarah Connor's a total badass. She's mad at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger does the right thing in the end because that's what he does. Cool CGI, weird new Terminators, and a lot of explosions, big fight scene, dramatic music. <laughs> it's shot in the fucking dark. <laughs> Close. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 right, I what did, what did I miss? Her well, and the Terminator fuck? Like, did I, did I miss? <laughs> is, it, uh, are we finally gonna get past this weird sexual tension between Sarah Connor and the T eight hundred? Is that what's gonna happen? I need your clothes and your boots. <laughs> wait, wait, hang on a second. I saw. I only. I've only seen the trailer for this, so I have to ask the question. Yeah. When they first meet the Terminator, it looks like he's literally at like a, a, a rather nice house in the woods. He is. He's and in a, ca all he's in a I cabin. Can think, he's in a cabin. Very similar to the cabin that he was in in the movie Commando. Where yeah. he and his daughter Alyssa Milano were hanging out sharing ice cream and he was chopping wood forever. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much that cabin. It feels like it's that cabin. Okay, so here's my theory. Commando is actually a Terminator movie, and it's the time between. It fits. It's the time in between. It, it totally fits. It totally fits. It totally right. fits. Yeah, like yeah, it's it's perfect. It's the time in between where like he leaves and he's like, "I'm the perfect soldier." Yada yada yada, and like he learns a bit of context or whatever it is, and like 
he enjoys I like he moves like the goddamn robot anyway, and it would explain all the one-liners in that movie. Yes. Like he yes. kills the guy on the plane. We'll give my friend, he's dead tired. Like that's a hundred percent a fucking T eight hundred move. So so this is how you watch the movies. You watch Terminator One, you watch Terminator Two, you watch Commando, and then you watch this one. Okay. I'm good with that. Yeah. Like I I yeah. don't think we need three or four or whatever the fuck they were. Yeah. Well, because this one it, like ignores the other ones that came. This Perfect. is a this is a direct sequel to two, Perfect. which is why it's awesome. Awesome. All right. So here's my theory: is instead of one, you just skip right to two. You don't need one. Okay. I like that. All right. Like one, one is a perfectly fine movie. I don't think you need to see one to see two. They do a pretty serious explanation in the beginning of two. Yeah, they do a re- okay. they do a great recap in two. They do a great recap. Okay, so previously on Terminator, full on Dragon Ball style, we're yeah. doubling back to last week, right? You watch T two, you watch Commando, you watch the most recent one. We yes. release it as the perfect Terminator trilogy. That's and that's, that's how we watch them. That's it. That's that's, that's it. Perfect. Okay. That's it. That's what I. That's what I'm doing. What, okay. When, so when I, I, I have someone who who has not seen any of these movies. Oh I'm my god! Wait for the new Terminator. I know. I'm gonna wait for the new Terminator to come out on Blu-ray, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show them T2, Commando, and then the new one, and they're gonna be like, "Why are we watching Commando in between?" And at It'll first, I'll sense. be like. At first, I'm going to be like, oh, a little comedy relief in between two serious movies. And then it'll happen, and they'll get to the cabin, and I'll pause it, and I'll go, remember the beginning of Commando? And they're going to look at me and go, fuck. <laughs> and I'll, I'll insist that it's the same, uh, same series. God, I'm hoping you don't watch this. It, it would have it, it w- it w- it been perfect if, if instead of like raising a son, as they do in this one, it was raising a daughter. And, and it was the... That, that would have been the perfect. We don't movie. know what happens to Alyssa Milano after this. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. For all we know, she died. I don't know. Fell off a cliff. Who and the fuck he knows? And he, and we don't know that. Like he he could have had this cabin all along. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. It's there. It's there. Right. Yeah. 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 There's enough time in between. If we've learned anything about the T eight hundred illegitimate children are kind of par for the course. Yeah. So this is totally fine. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I wish, I wish we could do a spoiler on this because they do a lot of fun things and like the opening is great, but like, I will See, wait. This I, is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, this, I, this, this is, is what I'm talking be, about. This is going to be so good. That's it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That, that's, that's it. We tore it. We, we have to do that. And then we have to come up with like shitty, like nineties food and eighties food. And then like, I don't know, late, 2019 food or something like that snacks i don't know whatever no old pringles or whatever i don't know it'll be yeah we'll we'll figure something out like we'll find the the ones in between but like yeah i i think that'll be the perfect thing for it perfect yeah i i like that i like that yeah i like that a lot (laughs) yep all right cool well kids i solved this jamie what are we talking about again i think we're done like cool i'm just gonna <laughs> knock him down that's that's what we're doing thanks kids appreciate you coming out so uh the new tr- the new trilogy is t2 commando, commando and then the new terminator film uh <laughs> where apparently from what i've seen from my social media feed all white guys get pissed off about it because i think strong female lead i'm not really clear what's going on and, and that's the thing i don't understand because it's like did you even watch the first two movies because linda hamilton is literally the main character of both of those like, yeah, I can argue that these guys see the T-800 as the main character. Oh, okay. Okay. She's definitely the plot glue. Right. She's absolutely a main character. Right. But we don't exactly follow her around. Like, just because she happens to be the narrator, and I think in the beginning of T-2, she's the narrator yeah. of, like, the recap of everything. But yeah. Anyone not wearing three million sunblocks could have a bad fucking day, boo. Right, yeah, like, I, like in a weird way, it would almost be like, so we refilm New Hope, but we start by you hanging out with Han Solo. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, 
35 minutes of them just hanging out, bullshitting in a bar, shooting Greedo, and then all of a sudden seeing these mooks over at the bar in their goddamn cloaks and going, hang on, I'm going to go make 50 bucks. And then <laughs> that's it. Like, that's, but and I, then I, we're off to the rest of the movie. The rest of the movie is exactly the same. But I, but I feel like those kind of people who are complaining about this would love that version of Star Wars. Like, I love that version of Star Wars. The more <laughs> Chewbacca, the fucking better. All Chewy all day. Yeah. <laughs> man i don't know no. i i like yeah, i don't know I, the, the people complaining about like the sjw stuff it's just like just I, I don't even want to try and break any of that down yeah like is there is there any of it that's that's like should i give a shit about any of that or can i just enjoy the thing that i can enjoy i i think you can just walk in and enjoy it because it's cool just, all right i'm good with that I, like the there the fight scenes the 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 fight scene with the sledgehammer in the auto factory, that's some clever shit. It's not cool. like it's not like raid. I mean, like you don't get some no. guy like taking someone's head and going bo bo bo, or like catching a kick and then throwing the leg back into their face. Mm-hmm. But that's but that's because they didn't have like the the crazy stunt team. But they do some really cool shit with like a, a sledgehammer. <laughs> they also don't have the the weird what are they the Thai rules about like not hurting stunt people <laughs> so you know <laughs> there's yeah. there's some some other rules to foot that keep you from doing stuff like that yeah hey I do mean, me a favor slip this guy an extra 50 bucks we're gonna bounce his head off some drywall all right guys okay. one take here we go <laughs> Just, <laughs> right yeah leans into the main guy hey we've only got one set of drywall so nail this okay the the lead guy in the raid is um oh god i think he's in a netflix series where he's like some kind of ninja assassin oh god damn it i thought you were gonna really throw me off where it's like some sort of weird thai remake of like boy meets world and he plays mr feeney (laughs) (laughs) that'd be so great yeah, I just I really want to just a shot for shot remake of like the first ah eh, fuck it let's pick up in the middle where Topanga starts getting hot I don't know like fourth or fifth season of Boy Meets World where like they're like slightly older like first year college or something like that and Mad Dog is Wilson <laughs> yeah Mad Dog wow you just completely <laughs> confused Home Improvement and Boy Meets World I like where this goes look. I don't no, want your I white people it. shit. So. No, I, I know. Right? <laughs> I'm more than aware of this. <laughs> See, Wilson's Wilson, the guy behind the fence. Mr. Feeney's fucking Kit from Knight Rider. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why it matters. See, that show would have been better if he was just the car the entire time. No, genuinely. I'm no? telling you right now. Not the car in the middle of the classroom talking I'm, to I'm people. telling you right now. That if if we'd have switched out a savage, like the, the kid who I think it's I think it's um Ben Savage, uh not the one from Wonder Years, but like the kid brother plays like the main kid. If uh-huh. you'd have replaced him with a Wahlberg, then that show would have been funny. <laughs> Like you just get just fucking like Marky Mark just doing fucking push-ups in the background. Yo, Mr. Feeney, what's going on? And just asking questions and shit. And then just every time he leaves, you just hear him do the like the voiceover part from like good vibrations, or you just walk mm-hmm. up and you just bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Oh my god. That would yeah. be good. Yep. Yeah. That. Just some, just some, some, just make a turduck and a white shit is really what I'm talking about. Just pile more white shit on top of more white shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think when it comes out on Blu-ray, I think that would be great. That needs to yep. be a vent. That, oh my God. That's 100% what's going to happen. I wonder. Are you saying I should host a viewing party? I wonder if we could find a venue that would allow us to, to do a viewing party. Cool. Does Disney own or Fox own any of the rights to any of these because I'm 100% sure they own the rights to the goddamn T2. And they've been Mm. shutting down movie theaters and putting movies in the fucking vault because Disney are monsters. What if we what if we had a, a like a private party and then we could do a we could definitely do a private screening where we don't charge anyone. Right. But at that point, then I'm dealing with people that I don't like. I could just invite people that I like over to my house. Yeah, that's true. 
we should we should we should do that and we should record it like everybody's reactions and put that out as a podcast like i'll yeah. set up the microphone and the recorder and we'll just like shit yeah. talk the entire thing we're we're 100 gonna do this it's gonna be great i'm gonna invite michael brocco over and we're gonna talk about how <laughs> we're not gonna watch the original terminator because you don't have to and he's gonna spend the first 25 minutes talking about how it would have been so much better for us to watch Linda Hamilton's explanation of what happened in the last movie than actually just having her explain it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know they use the same footage and I know that she gives a very detailed explanation and I know that you won't recognize anyone but her in that movie, but yeah. you have to watch that movie. Do you understand? <laughs> and if you don't, you're wrong. You're just wrong. Maybe we don't invite everybody. Wow. All right. Fine. <laughs> Be that way. Maybe. Well, your house can only hold so many people. Wow. Just going to throw <clears throat> shade on my home too, huh? All right. That's <laughs> how it is. <laughs> well, like. <clears throat> I corrected you about Wilson, isn't it? I see how it is. It's fine. No, it's well, okay. <laughs> if you want to avoid that 20 minute conversation. <laughs> You just um, tell him to shut the fuck up. It's easy. That's true. Um, but I, I, that would be hysterical. That would be hysterical. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. I don't know what the hell we were supposed to talk about tonight, but it wasn't I've as good as this. the podcast again. Yeah, it wasn't as good as this, so fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to the fucking do a cast. Welcome to the fucking do a cast. <laughs> Colin and Brandon rants about shit. <laughs> Every podcast I've ever been on always seems to just divulge it. Like it just, it slowly turns into just, so we're going to mention one thing and then see how far we've pulled back this wind up car and just let him go. Yeah. Well that, I mean, that was the point of this podcast. It's just <laughs> well, to kind of yeah. like, it, there was a, a loose theme and then just go. Well, yeah, I know it makes sense. <laughs> Cause otherwise it'd be work and yeah, I, I don't want another job. No, fuck that. No, we like, got enough we, jobs. We started Terrible. this to distract you from one secondary job. It's not supposed to be like right. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awkward. Yeah, it's great. It's great. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, all right, Brandon. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram <laughs> at that guy Chalmers. Jamie Gucci, where can they find you? Uh, stuck behind my desk, inking forever. If I figure out why my tablet is freaking out, uh, there may be a horrible purchase in my near future, but I think oh, I can figure God. out what this is going. We'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, Angry Zen Master on Twitter, Jamie Gucci on Instagram. Um, just put my name and stuff. I show up places, yep. all that kind of stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Um, um, yeah. Two two things. Um, you may be able to find us because I, I, Jamie, what I'd like to try and do also is support some of the people who have supported us over the years. So I know over the next two weekends there are going to be two things. One is Monster of a Show. Google it, Ooh, look it up, find right, it on Facebook. Monster of a Show. Go check it out. There's going to be a lot of friends of us, friends of Art Fight there, um, doing selling wares. Um, Kelsey Wales will be there. Our own uh, Baron Von Sexable, Michael Brocco will be there. So please come out. A bunch of other vendors making cool stuff. Um, get yourself some early Christmas gifts and just kind of check it out. Have a good time. All monster then, theme. All monster. All theme, monster so. theme, which is going to be really cool. <laughs> and then uh, I'll I'll break the ice and I'll give the plug here. Uh, coming up, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, November fifteenth at the Auto Bar. Come see Super Art Fight once again back in action for the. Th Thanksgiving throwdown, I think it's called. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Am I making that up? Did I get that right? I the don't know. 15th annual Thanksgiving throwdown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 85th uh, yeah. annual Thanksgiving throwdown. Yeah. The, Turducken the third tornado. Annual, yeah, the, the third annual Turducken fucking is going to happen <laughs> at the auto bar. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> anyway <laughs> you guys should come out at the very least for the following reasons your boy's gonna be out there in the crowd hanging out having a good time so you can know who everybody. you really want to <laughs> so right so here's the here's the skinny right 
I am no longer officially part of Super Art Fighting anymore. I am just a fan like the rest of you guys. You don't have to be so, impartial ever again. Nope, I don't have to be impartial anymore. So I'm going to get a few drinks in me, and then I'm going to saunter my loud ass up to the front, and I'm going to specifically <laughs> laugh at one of the two hosts for the evening. Not <laughs> sure which one. Going to flip a coin. Uh, going to write Ross on one side, not Ross on the other. Just going to flip that coin, see where that bad boy lands. <laughs> Who am I laughing at? Dealer's choice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick people I want to root for, and then I'm not going to cheer for the other one. <laughs> I'm make sure that they can see me. Oh, my God. You should, you should get, like, you know, that eye bar that's in the back, in the back. Just put that on you so, like, you're, you're raised up to, so your head is, like, monitor level so they can actually see your head out of the crowd and you're just, like, just no. stand there. Yeah, just no uh, right. sell the one that you right. don't One hundred percent. Because at the last show, I saw people recognize me at the show, and when we went to go cheer, I definitely saw a lot of eyes look into who I'm cheering for. I definitely am center of attention in this scenario for just that that momentary bit. <laughs> Long cat. Thank goodness <laughs> I've missed you. Oh shit! There's a cat on hey, my Gucci, head. I presented you this hat. It is a fine hat. It is. Oh, I feel like shit. we should. Wow, Jesus! I feel like as your wife presented you that cat, they should be playing like the uh, the celebratory uh, music from from like Return of the Jedi, where just like, you all get presented with medals and Chewie doesn't get shit. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn, it's so good. Um, <laughs> yeah. If if I'm able to step away from the inking table. I will be there probably camera in hand. So like I'll yeah, be hiding behind I'm, I'm the I'm thinking lens. about doing the same. Yeah. So um, you all should totally come out. Go support our friends. Go yeah. support the thing that you ended up loving us. A lot of people found us through Art Fight. Please go continue to support them. Go have a good time. Come have a beer with me and be like, oh my God, you're really not funny during the podcast. And I continue to listen anyway because I'm a good friend. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> And then we can both talk dirty about people that are involved in the thing that I used to be involved in. And oh, I'm sure. not going to mention what we're going to talk about, but it's going to be awkward and fun. Nice. I, am I serious? Am I not serious? The world may never know. Nice. But if you don't come out to the Autobahn, you'll <laughs> never know. November 15th, you'll never actually know. Yeah. So yeah, you should come do it. Come hang out with me and go do the thing and watch all of our friends and go cheer for everybody because that uh i i do hear a a one uh baron von sexville is gonna have himself a band ah. and jamie i haven't actually listened to any of the music yet mm. see i got this theory that if mm. i listen to the recording version i'm gonna make a decision about how they are <laughs> and that could be good and that could be bad and then it puts me in an awkward position. If I don't actually enjoy it, I have to lie to my friends to their face. If I see them live and I'm like, guys, that was a great performance, great job. I can be totally truthful about that. And I don't want to potentially lie to my friends. I don't know if it's any good, but I care enough about them yeah. that I don't want to form an opinion. Yeah, I don't know either. I haven't listened. Good, keep it that way. We'll both do it. And if you don't go to the show, then maybe we'll do a recap live on this podcast of me watching the live version and you listening to the recorded version and be like, so how's the band? And watch the two of us get very awkward, very <laughs> fast. Well, they don't listen. So like they don't listen to the oh, podcast. But what if they do? They don't. What if someone tells them we're going to do a <laughs> we're going to do a review of their album? We're not going to, you would tell them that you're going to do a review of the album. You would just review it. <laughs> like, the you look review? on your face is like, why would you tell them this? Why would you tell why them? Would you, why would you? Because I, I enjoy awkwardness. I don't know. what. Just, just review it. <laughs> tell them afterwards. <laughs> we reviewed your thing on our thing. Okay. We don't listen. All right. <laughs> hey, cool. Thanks. 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 That's my policy with you forever. Yeah. They, they don't no, fucking kidding. listen to this. <laughs> Keith listens to us. That's the only person we care about. Wow. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Pain and bills.
But yeah, you should totally come out. And uh, also, while you're at it, you need to listen to all of the other podcasts on the network. Go check them out. Give them a ton of love and support and listen. And look, you guys got hours in the day. You got commutes that you're sitting on there. You're like, I can listen to another episode of the same podcast I've been listening to. Or you could tear into something new. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Give it a spin. See if it's something you like. Put them in the bank and you know that you've got you've got all these things coming up. You've got Thanksgiving. You've got Christmas. You've got all of these road trips to family members and stuff like that. For Respect sure. those podcasts. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. That does it for yep. now. Uh, hopefully this worked and you'll see us side by side. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Cool. S-